Do court cases differ from place to place? What kind of picture do we get by looking at a country's collection of legal decisions? We introduce Parallel Tag Clouds, a new way to visualize differences amongst facets of very large metadata-rich text corpora. The data used in this project is the collection of written decisions of the U.S. Courts of Appeals. The U.S. Circuit Courts of Appeal are made up of 12 regionally-based court divisions and the Federal Circuit, which hears cases of national relevance. We parse the court cases and extract data from each of the fields, saving it into a searchable database. We process the data using a G-squared log likelihood measure to score words based on how distinguishing they are for a particular court. Here we see a parallel tag cloud of the U.S. Circuit Courts for the period 1999 to 2007, extracted from the text of the main opinions. Courts may be excluded or included using the selection widget at the bottom left. The widget is scented with bar graphs to indicate the number of cases in that court for the selected time period. The visualization technique combines graphical elements from parallel coordinates plots and traditional tag clouds to provide rich overviews of a document collection while acting as an entry point to explore individual texts. The data is first divided across a facet, in this case the court in which the case was heard. Distinguishing terms are then extracted from each subset and are visualized alphabetically in a column. Words in a column are sized relative to the log likelihood score or distinguishing score given to the word for that corpus subset. Words occurring in multiple columns are connected by edges reminiscent of parallel coordinate plots. As edges interfere with the legibility of the words in the columns, by default they are drawn as stubs, indicating the presence and direction of an edge without crossing over adjacent columns. The complete edge is drawn when a word is hovered over or selected. All edges connecting a column can also be revealed by hovering over that column's label. Here we see the edges connected to the fourth circuit. Basic parallel tag clouds reveal words which occur more often than expected in a particular corpus subset. The word size in the view is relative to its rank. We can also size the words in the tag cloud by the absolute score rather than the rank. This results in a less complete use of the available space, but it does provide additional information about the relative amount of distinction between corpus subsets. Here we see the longest column is the Federal Circuit, indicating that it is the most different from the others. Graphical tooltips are provided to show the details of various scoring methods applied to the words. These allow for detailed analysis of a word of interest, providing information about relative scores for the word across columns and with different measures. These also reveal when a word is significantly low in frequency. For example, here we see that insurance is significantly high in the 3rd, 5th, and 8th circuits using the occurrence scoring method, the bottom left graph, and is significantly lower than expected in the federal and DC circuits. We can select terms in the view to form a query over the underlying data. Here I will select several coal mining related terms that occur in both the fourth and sixth circuits. Search results are shown in a coordinated visualization called the document browser. Each document is represented by a stacked bar. Stacked bars are arranged by size and year. The relative number of occurrences of each of the select terms is shown through color coding. Each colored region on the bar represents the occurrences of the selected term of that color in the tag cloud. Here the pink bar represents occurrences of lung. The document browser and tag cloud are closely coordinated through interaction. Hovering on a document in the browser has two effects. First, words in the document are enlarged on the tag cloud and all other words are removed. This gives a visual summary of the contents of that document. The circuit containing that document is highlighted in blue. Here we see the selected document is from the fourth circuit. The second visual effect is a tooltip which contains additional information about that document.
for example, the parties involved, the citation, the authoring judge, and several instances of the selected word as it is used in context. Here we see that lung is always preceded by black in this case. Black lung is a colloquial name for a specific coal mining related disease. Double clicking the document icon reveals the original case and a complete tag cloud of its contents in the browser. By clicking the label of a column in the tag cloud, that column is selected. All documents not originating in that column are faded out in the document browser. Here we select the term patent in the tag cloud. Then we select the federal circuit. This reveals, through fading out, which documents contain the word patent and do not occur in the federal circuit. We provide several additional visual variations. First, when the data in the tag cloud changes, for example, by adjusting the time period used to populate the visualization, the new terms are highlighted in orange. This allows one to see overviews of differences and similarities across a second facet in the data, such as time. Highlights are deactivated by clicking an icon in the interface. A second visual variation is to include both significant absence as well as presence of words. We show significant absence using red text and edges. In this view, we see that patent is significantly highly occurring in the federal circuit and low in the others. We have pointed parallel tag clouds at a collection of over 600,000 U.S. Circuit Court decisions spanning a period of 50 years and have discovered regional as well as linguistic differences between the courts. Here we see the national prevalence of drug-related terms. Closer inspection, however, uncovers distinct regional flavors. Methamphetamine seems to plague the Midwestern and Western states, appearing in the 8th, 9th, and 10th circuits. Cocaine cases afflict the East, emerging in the 4th, 6th, 7th, and 8th circuits. Heroin cases are concentrated in the 2nd circuit, which includes New York. These differences may point to either a regional variation in drug use, or perhaps differences in the levels of prosecution. Parallel tag clouds could be applied to other types of faceted text corpora.